G'day everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. So today I'm gonna to go through how you can combine a number of different techniques to estimate product demand. So I've done I've done a number of videos like this, and this is this is what I love to showcase because Power, nothing in Power BI by itself is, uh, well, there's a lot of things even by themselves which are which are real game changers, but combining a lot of these different DAX techniques and analytical techniques are what are, are real game changers, in my, a game changer in my mind um, from an analytical perspective because you can just extract so much information so quickly if you combine all of these different elements and patterns and um, techniques, uh, especially around DAX and your models. So I'm going to showcase this by showing you, well, how can we try and estimate, okay, well, what would happen to pr product demand? So if you think about what we need to do there, we need to um, obviously have some sort of base, some sort of benchmark, right, um, to say, okay, well, this is how much we sell. And then we might need to layer on top of that some sort of factors that could change up that demand. So I guess, the, in my view, the best, um, the best benchmark uh, to uh, to lay out some sort of uh, forward forecast or some sort of um, uh, estimated forward-looking amounts is probably actually looking, okay, well, what did you traditionally sell, right? So what have you sold in the past um, that you could go on, um, you know, from, you know, down to the product level that uh, you can say, okay, well, in the future we might sell this this this, this amount. But, you know, you obviously want to increase your sales, right? You want to increase your demand, you want to get more customers in, so on and so forth. And so that's what I've done. What I've done is I've used the uh, I've, I've used the, the awesome what-if parameter and I created a, a what I called a demand factor. So if we look just down to the right-hand side here, you'll see that a table was created. This is what the what-if function does. It's really amazing. Um, it really just speeds up this sort of development. And um, as, as some of you are probably aware, I'm, the, I'm a huge fan of scenario analysis in Power BI. It's such an amazing technique. I've got a number of different videos on it. Um, so, ch so check those out. But what I can do here is I can actually change the demand um, and see and see what that actually happens to our forward, you know, our, our forward demand, uh, our forward demand expectations, right? And we've got here this this um, you know uh, visually a way to represent. Okay, well, this is what we expect demand to go based on the demand factor that we've input to our um, uh, into our model. And so let's just look at the model and see how that structures. So you see here that this this demand factor is just it's just a parameter table, it's a supporting table. That's what uh, that's what I call them, and we can just extract the numbers out of here and then feed them into our calculations. So let's have a look also at what, from a DAX perspective, what we've had to do there, right? So in this chart here, we've got total sales. So total sales is just you know, any calc, right? Any transactional calc, nothing um, nothing too fancy there. It could be anything for, you, for yourself in your own environment, you know, uh, d depending on whatever you're analyzing. But what I did was I needed to obviously project, I needed to project it forward, <coughs> I needed to project some sort of historical sales forward, and then I needed to incorporate this demand factor, right? And so the way I did that, and it's, it's really actually not too difficult because we've got these the amazing time intelligence functions, and so all we can do is, is we can go, okay, well, let's go and calculate what our sales were last year. So it, it, when we get to, say, the beginning of January, um, You'll see that this data set actually is not aligned to the exact days, um, you know, from when you uh, when I've recorded this. But in, in any case, say we get out to any of these days out here, really all it's looking to do is it's looking back in time at that exact day um, prior. But what I have done, you see here that our actual results are just, you know, they're pretty busy, right? So what I've also done, and what is I totally recommend from a, you know, just a visual perspective is I've smoothed the number, right? I've done some sort of smoothing. And how can we do some sort of smoothing? Well, I can layer on the moving averages um, pattern or um, a moving average technique. So if I go and find what I've done there, you'll see that um, I've gone estimated sales smooth. Well, uh, actually, so I've got, first of all, I went to estimated sales. So you see here, I went sales last year times one plus the demand factor. So that brings in the demand factor. So we've got, so we get that on board. But then what I do is I then go and smooth it, and I say, okay, well, actually, let's go, let's go and work out a moving average uh, for that estimated sales that we are calculating. So I think visually, you know, if you look at this chart here, and you can see that we can sort of change the demand factor like so. Um, you know, it actually looks far more appealing when you actually put that smoothing factor um, factor onto the chart. And so we now can use the power of the data model 
um, to bring that in and out. And you can, you know, you can really, you know, look and see. Okay, well, this is what we think demand will be. You can also look at it from, you know, what what products are going to make up that mix based on what we sold a previous period, right? But what's also good is you could probably actually select in here too, and that's going to change up. Um, that's going to change up the visual too. Not doesn't doesn't always show it as expected. Actually, it's not going to show it as expected in this case because this is actually um, only calculating the forward amount. Um, but in any case, this is how you can combine, and that's what I wanted to showcase here. This is how you can combine lots of techniques. So we've started off with, say, a, a total sales, a core measure. Then we've moved to, say, a user time intelligence. We've then incorporated a what if parameter. We've then gone and smoothed that number um, and then gone and visualized it, and then that's how we get the projection forward, estimate our product demand, our sales demand, and then we can work out, well, what sort of product mix do we need to supply um, you know, from an inventory perspective, from a marketing perspective, all the different things you can you can do that. You know, based on this insight that we've generated here. Okay, so I'll round things off there. Um, you know, there's there's a little bit that we covered here, um, but this is certainly just one of my videos where I wanted to showcase. Well, you know, nothing in itself is really truly difficult. I mean, there's lots of things that you need to work out how to combine them all, etc. Um, but when you do, I mean, think about the, the granular information or just the dynamic. Um, insight that you can actually achieve and how, how quickly you can achieve it. So it's pretty exciting. Um, and, you know, being able to look at things forward, predict things forward, estimate things forward, you know, that's helpful in so many respects. It's not just the standard r r analyzing historical information that, you know, doesn't really achieve anything. It's actually going, okay, well, let's have a look forward. Let's make sure that we... Um, you know, our forecasts are robust, we can actually test for different um, outcomes, different factors, etc. And then we can then implement the correct strategies around our, our product sales, our marketing efforts, etc, etc. Um, um, you know, to make those uh, to make those uh, estimations or forecasts a reality. Okay, so you can download this resource. Um, as, as always, you can, um, you, this resource will be in the in Enterprise DNA TV resources package. So certainly check out the description. Um, throw us a like if you like the content. Love, um, really love you to do that. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. I'm putting out a lot of content, um, and really want you to get your hands on it as soon as it comes out. So, all the best and good luck um, working away on these techniques in your own models.